Okay, so most of you got at least this far on Friday where you have the heart traced in pencil and you have a starter line going from point to point on your heart. You used a pencil first and then you start drawing your irregular polygons just it does not have to be symmetrical, but it can, where you're going from one point to another point and creating those irregular polygons using a ruler. Then you can go through and trace with the red china marker, and it is a lot faster and way more precise if you use the ruler for this step, too. Um, so even though you use the ruler the first time and you already have a straight line drawn in pencil, Use the ruler again when tracing for the, with the china marker. Next step after this is to start adding paint and creating some implied texture. So for this project, we're using the element of line and texture. So for the implied texture, you are going to use a little bit of salt. So just like you have seen um, salt melt ice when it snows or is icy, it'll also sort of crystallize and sort of suck up and take away some of the paint and that's what creates this sort of crystal implied texture look. So to do this, you're going to start, it really doesn't matter what colors you use, you could create a color scheme like maybe all warm colors or all cool colors, you could use analogous colors, those are cl colors in a row that go in a row on the um, color wheel. I'm kind of creating some puddles first. I'm going to load up my paintbrush and very precisely start filling in one of my shapes so that you're doing one polygon at a time. And I'm really sort of just pushing the, uh, pushing the paint around, if that makes any sense. See, I'm kind of pushing it so I get right in the areas I want. I want you to try and mix two colors. So I'm going to add a little blue to this. Maybe not in the whole space, and I'm going to let it sort of spread on its own some. That's called bleeding. And then finally, here comes the salt. It is just a small pinch, okay? And I'm gonna just put a few crystals down at a time. This is a pretty big polygon, which is a geometric shape. And that's all I need, okay? It doesn't work right away, so if you don't see it working right away, that doesn't mean start adding more salt. Really, that's all you need, and as it's drying, that's when you get this texture.